You know, for centuries, people have reported seeing mysterious balls of electricity hovering in the air. So where do these anomalies come from? And what do they mean? It's May 2019 near Minsk, Belarus. A man named Andrei Turkhanovets posts a bizarre video. Watch. Let's rewind that back. What is that bright blue sphere? And how can it travel across the railroad tracks, throwing off sparks as it moves? The Internet's reaction blew Andre's mind. It has almost uh, two million viewers uh, at this moment. Some commenters guess that Andre has recorded a rare phenomenon known as ball lightning. Strange luminescent balls in the air that eyewitnesses have been reporting since the 1600s. Some 19th century accounts claim they smelled of sulfur and considered them the work of the devil. More recently, there was this sighting near a field in Novosibirsk, Russia. This image resembles a phenomenon reported back in World War II. Odd zigzagging balls of light in the sky. Allied fighter pilots dubbed them Foo Fighters. And it was really kind of universally believed uh, amongst the Allies, that this was likely some type of uh, advanced Nazi uh, technology. But interestingly enough, when you look at uh, the Luftwaffe, so the German Air Force, they were seeing them too. To this day, some scientists argue that ball lightning doesn't exist based on how rarely it's seen. So is that what we're seeing here? To kick off our analysis, we went back to our forensic video analyst, Michael Primo. Primo begins by breaking down Andre's video, focusing not on the images, but the sounds. I noted that the sounds were up front and didn't sound natural with being in the outdoors. Sounds like something that was added. He concludes that the Belarus video has been edited. Yet he says the other example from Russia has not been. So could it be an example of the famous Foo Fighters? McMillan says the ball of light looks similar, but behaves differently. What's uh, been called a Foo Fighter lasted for a great deal of time and engaged in a lot of maneuvers and stuff that you just don't see there. So could it instead be a natural weather phenomenon? Atmospheric scientist Dr. Deanna Hens traced the weather conditions in Russia at the time of the sighting. If you're going to get ball lightning, lightning also has to be generally a likelihood, and I'm not seeing a lot of evidence of either. It does kind of reduce the likelihood that that is a possibility. However, Hans concedes that so little is known about ball lightning that it's hard to rule out. It is a very poorly understood phenomenon, and because it's difficult to capture, it's also very, very difficult to study. So the Russian video might be a genuine example. But when we talk to Andre toward the end of our investigation, he admits he created the dazzling effect in his video with CGI. I processed uh, the video on my computer with um, a specialized software. Though he never thought it would go viral. So our verdict? The Belarus video is clearly doctored. Please, that sound design was a dead giveaway. As far as the other footage, we're going to say it might be genuine ball lightning. But what causes ball lightning remains a mystery. A good reminder to remain as humble as we are curious in the face of the unknown.